All right, moving from orange to yellow in Salt Lake City. What does that mean for the city? And maybe more importantly, what does it mean for local businesses? So, yeah, in the orange phase, pretty much all businesses were able to reopen. But moving into this yellow phase for businesses like this event venue in downtown Salt Lake, it means a little bit more flexibility. We've looked back as far as July 13th now to see this decline and stabilization in Salt Lake City as a whole. Mayor Erin Mendenhall says she wanted to see more than just two weeks of stabilization before moving the city to yellow. So what changes in this new phase? Well, playgrounds and pools can open and people can gather in larger groups. Groups can get together at 50 people and it was limited at 20 before that. That's good news for business owners like Casey Chase. This was actually our, we were going into our busiest year as far as bookings going into it prior to COVID. She owns Amber, an event venue on South State Street. We have only had two very, very small 15 person max um, events. Amber received PPP loans, but the money went fast and left Chase questioning. Should I come up with a plan B for a business? Is the event industry going to be something that outlives this? Her business can hold as many as 300 people. Now they're encouraging significantly smaller events using their outdoor door space or postponing. Financially, it's just been hard to, you know, continue paying rent when we're not having business coming in. She says allowing up to 50 guests gives Ember more flexibility, but she says it's important for the business to keep precautions in place. I think that we can allow up to 50 um, if, if we come up with a game plan that really is making sure that the six foot distance is being followed and masks are being worn. She says caution now can make a big difference down the road. I think that the safer we are now and the more precautious we are now, um, the quicker we will see a reopening and a new normal. Now, Chase does say that the holidays moving into winter are typically a busy season for them. They have a lot of events, but she says they don't want to start holding large events until it really is safe to do so. In Salt Lake City, Haley Crumble Home, 2 News.